had multiple people asking me about the internet um, and what's best for the Philippines. Now, it depends what you're using. If you go in business, um, there is business tariffs and different types of line uh, from fixed lines between the US and the Philippines, etc., which come at a premium. But it depends what you're doing. Um, you got the little dongles. Personally, my favorite where we are is actually the Smart Bro umbrella system. It's basically a transponder system where you're basically transporting the signal. It's just a large antenna where it feeds backwards and forwards. Downside, you're sharing your IP with about a thousand other people, which means sometimes you get blacklisted on sites because somebody's been doing somewhere somewhere uh, something somewhere and ended up with everybody getting blacklisted um, but the one thing I found with it it only lost signal in power cuts um, where the transponder is down and when you um, get heavy storms where basically the antennas moved and all you gotta do is get up there and adjust it get it back um, aligned and away you go it's not fast it's reliable um, if you aren't fast you're in the wrong country <laughs> there, there is no such thing as fast internet in the Philippines because of the well you get 50 meg but that's only 50 meg up to Manila, Manila. The, the problem is getting out of the country so bear in mind when people go super fast super fast it's all to do with hops and under under sea cables. Um, it's I don't think they they fixed it. Um, the problem you've got with the Philippines is a monopoly, and it's a a monopoly that doesn't really care about quality. It cares about profit. Um, so just be aware that if you're expecting them to rush around and fix it when the telegraph poles fell over. Uh, it could take six weeks that's why I like this system there's no telephone cables it's simply on an antenna on a uh, tra uh, it's on a transponder that goes out to the antenna and that signal just goes backwards and forwards no cables involved whatsoever it's line of sight which is why it's important to get as high as possible but I've had less problems with that than any of the others I've had now bear in mind with the call center I had four telephone connections I had telephone cables from all the different companies because if one went down I could swap to the other and eventually there was problems on all of them you'd get PLD PLDT fixed there's one week then global go down and it, you know it's just terrible um, that's why for the one that would stay working and did even with the call center the transponder one was the best um, it's, it's for home use it's perfect for home use it, it's only about one meg speed but it's a real one meg and that's the important bit for me um, I don't I'm sitting in Spain with a 10 meg connection that is one meg uh, down and 300 K up which is it's just dire it's, it's like what my first broadband connected connection in the UK was faster and that was a 512k connection back then that was the one that the first internet connections um, on the broadband line I was one of the first customers um, that says how pants it is where I'm at the moment they do have cable but not in my town <laughs> alright thanks for watching